What's up guys? I gotta go into the doctor today. I got my MRI yesterday. We didn't vlog yesterday. Just been in too much pain to pick up this camera, but I decided I wanna vlog today for the diagnosis of what's happening. And I wanna vlog me getting to the other side of this pain, which seems impossible at this point. I even told the doctor, I, I'm not going in unless we can do something about the pain. I'm not gonna go in to make another appointment. So we'll see what happens. I hope he can give me an injection or something that was thrown out there or just like put me in the hospital from here and do surgery or something. Something is seriously wrong. I've also been using that guy right there because I literally cannot get up. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to get up. You're gonna be able to get up. Holy pain, crap. Pain, 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 oh my happening. gosh, something is seriously, seriously wrong. I think daddy's, something in his back is loose and getting loose is what I think. Uh, what did you do? I was trying to put a pillow under my back. Oh, pillow under your back? I don't know what's back right there. Uh, hi. Hi, I have an appointment for Samuel Raider today at 120. Um, he's not able to get out of the seat. I think the doctor's going to have to meet him at the ER or something. Like, I'm not, we're not sure. He can't get up. Can I talk to the doctor, please? He is not here right now. What's going on? Let me see if I can find him. I got an MRI yesterday. I came in for the pain. I, I got the MRI, and I, it's taking me down to my, my back. I cannot get up whatsoever. I'm going to have to come in by ambulance. Rockwell County 911, what's the location of your emergency? I need an ambulance to go to Presby. I was supposed to have an appointment for my back today. I did something horribly wrong to my back. I can't move. Okay, are you breathing okay? I mean, it hurts to breathe, but yeah, I'm breathing. And are you alone in the house? No, my family's here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I have fire department on the way. Let me connect with the EMS. Just stay on the phone with me. Is there any way that it makes you feel comfortable? Like, just can you see here? Is that oh, oh, my God. Yeah, I, okay. I had an injury a month ago lifting something with my brother. Crazy, right. yes, it's crazy. It's crazy. So you, you realize that we have to transport you to the ER, correct? Correct. Okay. okay. And that the ER is really packed or most likely going to have to sit in the wheelchair because they don't have any beds available in the waiting room. I can't sit in the wheelchair. Um, I can't sit down. I understand. Yeah, no, I'm going to be able to. What's that? Yeah, I won't be able to. I've got to find a call. There's no way. I can't sit. Uh, unfortunately, because of everything going on right now, that will most likely be the only option that you'll have. All the hospitals are like that right now, but. So you can't take me to his office? I mean, I'll take you there, you but. You can't take me to his office. I can't take you to the office. Transport you can't transport. To ERs. You can't transport anywhere than the ER. Can you transport me to my car? We um, can get you to your car if you want to get in your car. So she can take me to the appointment? Yeah, yeah. we can help you to your car if that's what you want to do. I have to start or get there. Maybe somebody can help me get out. Yep. Well, Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, no problem. Sorry about this again, bud. I'm at my doctor's appointment, guys. The uh, paramedics helped me into my car. Oh, that was a blessing. He told me the ER is too packed. He said all the beds were taken. Last thing I needed was to sit there in a wheelchair in the ER. Last thing, I can't sit down. That was the worst pain. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Every time I do something or turn wrong or put too much pressure somewhere, this electrical pain just shoots up my entire body. It didn't shoot up up here last time. It shot up to my brain and down my leg this time. It usually just shoots down. This time it went like a lightning bolt right through me. When they call you, they're going to come out with a wheelchair. It's the only option to help get you in. Okay. So I'm sitting in Sam's seat now. He's in the doctor's office. Honestly, I feel like I need to be in there with him. I feel like I need to be hearing everything they're saying. But, you know, all the girls are with me. Abram's with Nana. They had, like, big plans today, so they're out at a cool play place. I know how small it is in the, the exam rooms, and I don't think I should have all three girls in there. I just feel like it would be counterproductive for the doctor, for Sam, even for me trying to hear. I hope that things are going okay in there. We were about to have our 12th wedding anniversary and we dated for five years before we got married. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 years. I have never seen Sam in this much pain and this like down and out. 
Like I've never seen it. I've hardly seen him sick. I have never seen him incapable of standing, walking, in tears. I mean, just seeing my big strong man in tears just does something to my heart. Oh, I just feel so bad for him. I just feel so bad for what he's going through. Are you feeling better? What's the deal? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? I'm gonna basically ask him for pain medication. I can't do anything about my spine. That's why I called him over and over. I said, we don't want to come in just to make an appointment for an appointment. Basically came in so they could tell me they got to refer me to a spine specialist. So he said what? he can't do spinal injections. Our first visit, he said, that's a possibility. Well, maybe now he you, can't? Maybe you're just saying it's a possibility you'll need it, not that he does it, just that he'll refer you. Gosh. So do I need to make a call? No, you I guess they'll contact me. So he didn't do anything to help you? Just gave you, I he see, prescriptions? He said there's a little bit of pinching on my nerve in my spine somewhere. There's the results, but it's not like a big deal. Be surprised I'm having so much pain. I mean, I'm glad there's nothing obviously really bad wrong. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I'm glad I don't have a compressed disc or anything. They said there's no disc compression. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, that's a blessing. He said there's some bulging going on. He says everybody has a little bit, but he said it's not touching my spine yet. I just don't get it. I asked him, should I go see a chiropractor? He said he wants me to see a spine specialist first. Are you feeling any better? Like? Well, I'm noticing mean, as I hold my leg up like this, I'm definitely finding it relief. I'm able to get around on one leg. I need some crutches. Okay, so when... He said, I, what I've been doing is right. I said, do I stay in the bed? Do I get up? Like, what do I do for this kind of thing? He's like, yeah, you definitely don't want to stay in the bed. I'm so excited. She's going to go have a sleepover with Nana. Abram's already with me. I was supposed to have a ladies night for GC tonight. It was gonna be no little kids, moms only, kids ages 10 and up because we were doing like a game night. That got canceled because there were a couple moms who had their little ones are sick. And so, which really worked out for us because I've been running around with Sam and for yeah, Sam like all day long. So I messaged Sharon and she said, just take the help while I can help you. I can honestly just use the relief and the help. So yeah, I'm just, I'm thankful that our moms are so willing to help. Like my mom had them the other day when I had to take Sam and now Sharon is taking these two over Overnight. Michael's here. What? Sam? You're up, buddy? Oh. Come on, let me come out. I gotta move. Oh. Look, oh. Uncle Sam, he's really hurt. He's coming. Don't worry. Back up. Don't be afraid, buddy. So just quit. Don't be scared. <laughs> so here he comes. <laughs> Michael, where are you? I'm right here. I'm over here on your left. Speak louder. I'm on your left, Sammy. I'm He's right like here. Scott, oh. When he comes out. <laughs> Sam, yeah. yeah. Feel me? Wait, Nia? Wait, what? That's not Nia. Oh. Well, you were like Michael Scott oh. when you left there. Hey, bro. <laughs> I'll be okay, I promise. Don't be too upset. Wait, I'm going to say I'm being funny. Did you brush your teeth this week, buddy? <laughs> I tried. Can you help me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this yeah. really Samuel, though? Oh, now you're blind too. Is it really sad? <laughs> Sam, you kind of inspired me to clean today. I was like, who am I to be sitting around with a perfectly good hip? And Sam said, home with a bad hip, stuck in bed. That's the lesson I feel like God's kind of teaching me because I've been so lazy lately. Yeah, I feel like he's telling me like I gave you health to do something with it. Not to just kind of sit around. Since I'm down, can you clean my whole office for me? <laughs> yeah, I was going to clean it, then this happened, so otherwise I wouldn't have asked you. Sam venturing outside. It's really pretty out here. It hurts my eyes and my skin a little bit. No, not really. I was just out here. Michael's going to help me turn my pull pump on. I have to walk. I have to walk. Oh, is that from the vlog? We just watched your vlog where you guys were all over that thing. Oh, really? Yeah, where Juliet almost drowned underneath it. Yeah. Well, she didn't almost drown, but... She's kicking out of the pool. This is a out here. Why isn't it... Of course my pull pump stopped working when I went down. That's how it would happen. So Michael's here to help me get it turned on so our pool doesn't turn green. What are you doing? I'm actually... Yeah, that's the bad thing about pain medicine. You get confident on it and then you screw it up even more. That's why I'm still using this. I probably could come out here without it. Oh my, look at this. What a maze of PVC. Look at all that, Cove. Look at all that PVC pipe. See all that? Can you get these valves facing downward, all three of those? Okay. No down. I am going down. No, it's up. You said facing down. What's that? So facing up. Oh. Well, this is facing up. Well, I'm not talking about the handle. I'm talking about the actual valve. I'm going to open this, this up. Open. I'm turning it. Twisting it. No, no, not that way. The other way. This way? Yeah. 
Does it turn? No. Oh, there you go. Wow. It oh, comes take, off. Take it off. Oh. Now what? I fill that to fill up the water. All that will fill up. The water will come down the pipes. I gotta prime it. It's like you it's pull empty. that basket out real quick and clean it. The water's emptying. No, it'll fill up in a sec. Just hit that on the ground. Okay. Is this what comes from the pool? No, my concrete. It doesn't make it through this thing. It's what that passes through this thing. Alright, that's good. Daddy. Hold on, Daddy. buddy. Put the round part. You got it in the wrong. Nope, the other way. Yeah. That? Yep. Why? Okay. Uh, so when it fills back over, oh, get the, the lid off the ground. When it fills up with water, put the lid back on. Alright, it's going up. I know it's so easy, but I can't get down there and do it. I couldn't tell anybody else how to do this. Can you believe I have crutches and I went to the ER? Guess what, buddy? An ambulance was at my house today. <gasps> cool. <gasps> There's an ambulance at his house. You get down there real good. Twist it back on. Come on, baby. There, there we go. go. That'll, that'll work. Now, I'm going to turn this on. Like two seconds later, open... One second later, open that valve and that valve. Okay. Ready. Wait, Which way is open? The opposite way? No, back towards you. Yeah. All the way up, down? Go, open. Go. Okay. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna let the water shoot out of this. Okay, it's gonna shoot right at me. Alright, now open that one. Alright. Great. It's going. So, what did you just get the air out of the water? <laughs> yeah. You have to get, and then screw that. Over there, in the back of it, scoot tight. Poor Oreo is so neglected. She can't play with her or anything. Oreo. Can you play with Oreo for a little bit? Yeah, play with her. Maybe throw the football with her? Yeah, sure, I'll throw the football with her. Alright, thanks, bro. Here, I'll throw you guys. <clears throat> Oreo! Oh, she's That's so cute. <laughs> Go get it! Can she actually get it? Oh, you're kidding? Oh, yeah. She's so cute. Get it, get it, get it. You can't get it? You can't get it? You can't get it? Ow! You got my finger. Mike is watering my plants for me. The avocado tree is looking kind of sad lately. You can water at the base of it too. It's kind of dry at the base of the plant. There's a hole right there facing me. When it starts leaking water out of that hole, that means it's full. Look, it's daddy. Hi, little Jojo bear. Hi, Symphony bear. Hi. Hi. I was playing with Coral and Cove and we were listening to music from Tangled and when there's a song from the bad guy, I was pretending I was the bad guy and I had to catch them. We ran around their car a bunch of times when they were getting ready to leave and I got them. Good. <laughs> yeah, I just said like, bye guys and Coral walked around the car and I was like, gotcha! Well, you're not a bad guy, you're a good girl. Joe Bear, I thought you went to bed. She did, but she said, I don't want to sweep yet. I want to stay up late like big sister is. That was nice of Michael to come over. And help me out with a few things. I hope when I have good legs that I'll be helpful to some people. So this is my spot guys, right here. This is where I spent most of my time for the past week. Most of my time. It's starting to hurt my lower back. That's unassociated with the pain that I'm already having. Like it's causing back pain from being in the bed. Like achy pain, not the sharp pain that I've been suffering with. So I guess tomorrow I hope to get a call from the spine specialist and see if they can pinpoint what's going on i sent my report to a doctor in our church justin and he said it sounds like the bulging disc in my in my l4 and l5 vertebrae is causing the nerve pain but anyway man this has been such a bummer it's helping me gain perspective though it's crazy when you when you lose something like your ability to comfortably walk your perspective changes now that i'm unable to do a lot of the things that i was doing i'm like thinking like i would give anything to be able to do those things again over all the other things that i wanted to do when i had legs so it's like i just want to get back to that so i can enjoy having legs but how do you get in there and be content with just having health and not wanting more like i got i got health why do i want 
more of this and more of that. I should just be content that I'm able to walk around and do the things that need to be done around my house, be with my kids and my wife. I get so discontented so easily. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us today. Catch you tomorrow for another vlog right here, right from this position. Maybe I'll see what comes in and out of the room all day. I'll just sit here point the camera at the door and just see what random activities happen in my site you know maybe in the bathroom out this door on the pool i got that view and then i got my closet view of my closet and then view of josie's bedroom from here you know it could be surprising it could be a whole vlog maybe just to see what we see from this angle anyway i'll stop talking now thanks for joining us today guys don't forget he loves you and remember to love each other it's your friend josie <laughs>